Five reasons you suck at golf. Number five, stretching and driving range use. I can't tell you how many times I've heard the words on the second or third hole, still loosening up with an old man groan. You need to stretch out your back, hips, hammies, and shoulders. I've even attached in the description a link for good warm-up stretches. This is one of the easiest things you can possibly do to actually not suck at golf. Imagine if those first three holes you got to redo at the end of your round when you actually felt loose. So now that you are loose, you decided to hit some balls. If you bought a small bucket, you likely have 40 golf balls to hit. You are wasting your own time if you start out just cranking drivers down the range. Stop trying to bomb it and start working with some precision. Develop a rhythm and a game plan. Are you hitting those 40 balls as fast as you can? Do you have a pre-swing routine? Do you even know your average distance your clubs go? Use your same pre-shot routine like you would on the course. Develop that routine. Here's a tip. Divide your bag by two. Hit only even clubs or odd clubs, like your five iron, seven, nine, sand wedge, three wood, and driver. Start with your sand wedge and hit four balls each, working your way up the bag to the driver. Keep close track of the average distance those four shots are going. You don't need a range finder or launch monitor for this, but just get an idea of your average distance, swing your normal speed swing. That leaves you with 16 balls left still. Then play a game. Imagine it is a 350 yard hole. Hit your driver, estimate the distance you actually just hit it, then pick the club that then will get you to the imaginary green. Finish your range time with your most likely club on the first tee. If it isn't a driver hole, really focus in on what distance you want to hit and that club. So stop blasting the ball down the range willy nilly and expect something magical to happen on the course, because it won't. The most important thing to get out of your range time is to feel loose and to know your yardages when you step onto the tee. Number four, anger. A little bit louder, I'm hard of hearing. He's hard if he's an old man. Okay, so. as I was saying, right now yeah, we are having- talk louder. Okay, our prices have never been lower. Son, you have Certain to talk louder. Never been lower. Louder, I son! Butt liquor! Our prices have never been lower! Stop it, heat! That is totally inappropriate. Why do you play this game if it pisses you off? Playing golf angry simply doesn't work. If you didn't warm up, what did you expect to happen? If you missed an easy putt on the first hole, did you let that ruin your next hole? Golf is a game that can beat you down and spit on you if you let it. Once you lose your cool, you can kiss the score you want to have goodbye. Don't dwell on the past holes you've scored or even the future holes that you haven't played yet. Just focus on the present hole and swing you have to make. The good scores will happen when you become laser focused on one activity. Bad shots will happen to everyone. It is what happens next that really determines who you are as a player. Number three, cell phones. Want to suck at golf? Keep your phone close and listen for the ring. Golf takes a ton of focus. Cell phones easily distract us. If you are texting, calling, emailing, or checking TikTok to see if your latest video of being Chris Farley in a little coat is going viral in between shots, you will miss something. Like a creek in front of the green or a bunker left. Or you'll be standing over the golf ball not actually thinking about your shot. That is never a good thing. So put your cell phone in your bag and set it to silent. If you need to, check it periodically, but never leave it in your pocket. I typically check my phone after nine holes. Number two, chipping the ball. Do you actually practice your chipping to get an idea how the ball is reacting on the greens before you play? Most likely you are not putting for birdie more than 20% of the time, so you are chipping around the green a lot. Take some shots with downhill and uphill lies. Chip out of the rough, chip out of the fringe. Visualize getting that chip within five feet. Pick a spot out where you want the ball to land and visualize the rollout. If you really want to improve, track your up and down percentage from 30 yards and in when you play. You likely suck because you're using the wrong club, like a flop shot because you want to look like a pro. Pros are playing on incredibly fast greens and need to spin the ball to get it to stop quickly or it will roll off the green, so they typically come in at a higher launch. So take note and try to get the ball rolling as quick as possible if you have a lot of green to work with. Try taking a lower lofted club, like an 8 iron or a 9 iron. It will react more like a putter and give you a better chance for a makeable putt. You're not Phil Mickelson. There's a time for hitting your lob wedge around the green, typically when you have left yourself with very little green between yourself and the pin. It is still a good idea to practice this shot, 
but much less likely a shot that you need to do on every green that you miss. Number one, putting. The most strokes you take come from this one single club. Look at your scorecard and count back your putts. It isn't close. Get to know the green speed. Don't just throw it down on the practice screen and start whacking it around. Putt from distances you normally seem to be putting at. Try 5 footers and 20 footers. Get your 20 footers within that 5 foot mark. Likely these 20 footers are your par putts and your 5 footers are those bogey putts. Always, always prevent the dreaded double bogey if possible. Work uphill, downhill, and sliders moving left and right. Visualize the putt going in, especially if you have a putt that you know is going to break left or right. Really want to save putting strokes? Read the putt from behind the cup, 5 feet behind the ball, and directly by the ball. Stand shoulder width apart and test if you feel your balance leaning one way or the other. Do this in a timely manner and you'll put the ball on a better line. If you only have 30 minutes before you get to the course, priority number one is stretching. Then comes putting and finally chipping. Hopefully this helps you stop sucking at golf.